Hi, welcome to Two Batches. Two Batches Cooking is about home style with ease. I'm Maria. And I'm Rosemary. Welcome in. Let's go inside and get started. Amen, sister. Amen. Woo! So today I'm going to do a chicken soup. And this is kind of a home style chicken soup. It's my grandmother's recipe. It is great. Um, it's the type of soup that you want definitely when it's cold out. You want it to eat it when you're feeling under the weather. And I make it, um, especially when I've gone off the rails for a couple days eating too much chocolate or sugar or fatty things. So it just makes you feel healthy and I think you're gonna love it. That sounds great. Mm. Um, I am going to make some flatbread pizzas. Just um, use what you have in your pantry, possibly what you have left over in your refrigerator. Um, some fresh Parmesan cheese, or Parmesan, well, fresh Parmesan cheese, but also fresh mozzarella cheese. And it's just a wonderful, quick dinner, lunch that you can put together and in no time. Very easy. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's get to it. All right. The first thing you do is you bring some water to boil. So... This is kind of an eye test. This is usually, I say, two-thirds to three-fourths full. Sometimes it depends on how large your chicken breasts are. Um, you might have to add more water later, but we'll talk about that later. So the first part of this is putting the chicken and the onion and salt in for about 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to salt this water. This is one uh, medium-large onion diced. I'm going to add that in. And so here's the important part. This is the chicken, and this, these are split breasts. And so that means the skin is on and the bone is on. No BS, skinless, boneless. We'll put both of these in. We'll probably only end up using one of them, and you can save one of them for, um, like, chicken salad the next day or whatever. So we're going to slide these in and just watch your water level. And we usually let this boil for about 15 minutes, and then we come back and add everything else. So we'll do that. Okay, so this, these split chicken breasts with the onion and the, and the water and the salt have been cooking for about 15 minutes. It's gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. So this is about two-ish garlic cloves, minced. So I like garlic, this is in truth, it's probably more than two, it's probably like three garlic cloves. Um, we put in again the celery, which goes into a chicken soup. Again, I cut up the um, I always cut up the leaf part. I don't throw the leaf the leaf part away. I always buy the celery with the most leaves. That's two celery stalks. This is two carrots, kind of coined up here. Um, so we put in potato, which is not part of my grandma's original recipe, but we add it. I don't know why, but we do. Just gives it another dimension. So we're going to add in the potato. And... Put in a tiny bit of marjoram, this is optional, so I just toss them in, which I guess it's a good spice for chicken. Put in two bay leaves, bay leaves, two bay leaves. Um, and to kind of help make up the chicken broth, I put in two chicken bouillon cubes and parsley in. Once this is in, I would say 45 minutes, roughly, um, then we'll come back and take the meat out and shred it up and put it back in. So I put in about half of this parsley, it's about half a cup. I save a half a cup for garnishing at the end. Oops, ah! Put in a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and then I'm just gonna give it a toss. And this is, again, it's on high. We want this to boil. Once this starts to boil, you can turn it down a little bit. See how high the water level is here? So that's good because it will boil down. You want to be careful and check the water level to make sure it doesn't, ooh, doesn't get too, too, too low. I just lost a carrot. I'll figure out how to get that back in there. Um, so you can always add water um, if it boils down too much, but you don't want it kind of boiling over and knocking your stuff out of the soup. So you'll have to watch the heat. So this part is about 45 minutes. So it's been boiling for about 15 minutes with the chicken. So you have to think roughly roughly an hour, hour and 10 minutes to make sure the chicken is cooked. So that's it. 
come back and check it in a few minutes just to make sure everything is getting together and that the water is not going too crazy. And then we'll assemble it. Perfect. Okay, so this has been boiling for a while, another 45 minutes. As you can see, the water level's gone down and that's kind of what you want. Um, so this is a good level. Um, we're gonna take out the split chicken breasts just to make sure they're done. So there's two of them. These are big breasts. So we're gonna save one of them for chicken salad the next day. And we're just gonna use one of them in the soup. So we're gonna turn the soup to low because it's essentially done. So we'll pull the meat off of one of them. So you're not using the skin. So you're gonna just take two forks, just essentially pull the meat off. Let me get the skin away. Oops. Let's make sure the skin is off so you keep the fatty part out. Get all the meat off this as much as you can. You just smash it like this and you can see that the meat is soft, it's not pink, it's not rubbery, it's falling apart. So that pretty much means that it's done. Like as I said, roughly an hour on the meat. And so let's just get this chicken stuff all kind of sliced up here or diced up. You can make this as big or small as you want. It's nice to have big chicken chunks as you serve people. And really, you just put it right back in. Oops, what a mess. I'm channeling Julia again. Okay, so let's put this right back into the soup. And we're waiting for the noodles to be done. You'll put the noodles in the bowl first. And then you will just put a ladle of the soup right over it. And that's essentially it. It is done. Yes. Okay. Okay, so the other part of chicken soup um, is the noodles. And so I just use egg noodles. You can use smaller noodles if you want. And um, I always do these separately because, you know, you'll probably have more soup and you can have more helpings on another day. So just do your noodles separate rather than putting them in. And so, I don't know, I roughly say like a handful for each person. And so just dump them in there and then these take, you know, kind of do them as the package um, suggests. They're usually about six or seven minutes. Then just drain them separately and you'll plate the noodles first and you'll put the soup over it so perfect okay i'm going to make some flatbread pizza this is a recipe that i've just made up myself i buy the flatbread from the grocery store i have bought naan before and used that that works just as well and I picked this up at Aldi's. Aldi's is my ultimate favorite store. So actually almost all these ingredients today are from Aldi's. Okay, so I am going to make half of this a margarita pizza and the other half I'm gonna add some extra ingredients that I just, I just have around and I wanna put on the pizza. So for the margarita style pizza, that's essentially olive oil, garlic, sliced tomatoes and fresh mozzarella with basil. I am, so I have olive oil. I am just going to drizzle a little olive oil on the pizza. I will just spread it around. And on the other half, I have just plain tomato sauce and I've added a spice blend. It's actually called Italian sausage seasoning, but what it is is fennel, black pepper, and salt. So it gives it a great taste, but it is vegetarian. There is no meat in it. It's just the seasoning. If you were gonna make sausage. So, and I kind of am on the stingier side of the sauce when I put it on because with the toppings and everything, it just kind of becomes soupy, so it's best to be on the stingier side. So I have a garlic press, and I'm gonna put two cloves of garlic, and I'm going to just crush it on the side that is the margarita pizza. Okay, just put it evenly. A little bit of garlic goes a long way. It will even kind of flavor the other side of the pizza, but that's not a problem. So here are some fresh tomatoes. 
out of the garden. So you want to slice them relatively thin. And you want to just place them around. If you can leave some of the juice, try to not drain them, but just try to take the slices, leaving as much of the liquid on the cutting board. And then fresh mozzarella is like the secret ingredient to homemade pizza. It is awesome. So again, got this at Aldi's. We have, they sell it in a ball, like a softball shape, but then they also have it in a log form and it's pre-sliced and it really does help make the whole process easier. If you bought the ball, the whole, the whole ball size, I mean, you can cut it. It's just a quick, easy tip. And I have some green olives. They do have a pit in them, but I am gonna slice around the pit and put olives. You can add onions. I mean, I've made it with adding um, sausage, just pre-cooking Italian sausage and adding it to the pizza. Um, ham, I love ham and pineapple on pizza. Um, you can just pretty much there's no limit to what you can put on. Whatever you would like. Um, I think my husband would probably like just about anything. Leftover meatloaf. You know, you just, it is whatever you would like. You can buy the pepperoni, be traditional, and have pepperoni as well. So, and I am going to add just a little tomato. Kind of chop it up. So fresh tomato, just it caramelizes in the onion, in the oven and it just gets, intensifies the flavor and tastes so good. Okay, and I'm gonna add the cheese to the other side. Sometimes I use regular mozzarella and fresh mozzarella, but today I do have some freshly grated Parmesan cheese that I'm going to put a good helping over the pizza. And that's it. We're gonna put it in the oven and in 12 to 15 minutes, you'll have homemade pizza ready to eat. All right, so the pizza has been in the oven for about 15 minutes and I'm going to take it out. The mozzarella cheese is melted and we'll let it set for just a couple minutes and then slice it and it will be set. Okay, here we are. All right, Looks welcome great. back. We have delicious chicken, homemade chicken noodle soup. Yummy. Big chunks of chicken and carrots, noodles. It smells wonderful. It smells great. And we're gonna garnish it with a little bit more of the parsley. Parsley. And then I have the pizza. Um, I have the margarita pizza and then the version where I added um, olives. green olives and tomatoes. So yummy. So I'm going to start with that. Okay. Because I want some pizza. Mm. Oh, I wow. I could have dropped something, but <laughs> that's the sign of a good meal. <laughs> mm. This soup is wonderful. It, it just, mm. it has such a, I mean, great taste. The vegetables. I mean, who doesn't like chicken soup? Mm, it's this soup. is so it's good. A great food. Because you can have it as a meal, dinner, lunch. You can cut it up in the sizes that you have, like as a snack. Mm -hmm. Serve it at a party. Yeah. Mm. It's so easy. And of course, but. it's me, so I'm going to do a sriracha on the soup. Make it a little bit hot. Cheers. Cheers. To another episode. Yep, to more rose. Mm. Oh. Well, we hope you like these recipes. Um, they're on Facebook. Please go to Facebook, like us, follow us on YouTube. Um, we will be back soon with another episode. And make these. Bye. Bye.